thy Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto thy Lord. Singing Alleluia. Shout with gladness, dance for joy. Oh, come before the Lord and play for Him on glad tambourines and let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, Creator and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, teach and urge these things. Whoever teaches something different and does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the religious teaching is conceited, understanding nothing, and has a morbid disposition for arguments and verbal disputes. From this came envy, rivalry, insults, evil suspicions, and mutual friction among people with corrupted minds who are deprived of the truth, supposing religion to be a means of gain. Indeed, religion with contentment is a great gain, for we brought nothing into the world just as we shall not be able to take anything out of it. If we have food and clothing, we shall be content with that. Those who want to be rich are falling into temptation and into a trap, and into many foolish and harmful desires, which plunge them into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evils, and some people in their desire for it have strayed from the faith and have pierced themselves with many pains. But you, man of God, avoid all this. Instead, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith lay hold of eternal life to which you were called when you made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses the word of the lord thanks be to god blessed the poor in spirit the kingdom of heaven is theirs blessed the poor in spirit the kingdom of heaven is theirs why should i fear in evil days when my wicked ensnarers bring me round they trust in their wealth. The abundance of their riches is their boast. 
blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Yet in no way can a man redeem himself or pay his own ransom to God. Too high is the price to redeem one's life. He would never have enough to remain alive always and not see destruction. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Fear not when a man grows rich, when the wealth of his house becomes great. For when he dies, he shall take none of it. His wealth shall not follow him down. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Though in his lifetime he counted himself blessed, they will praise you for doing well for yourself. He shall join the circle of his forebears, who shall never more see light. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. you father lord of heaven and earth you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa. Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Minsan sinabi ng Panginoon sa kanyang mga tagasunod, I came to serve and not to be served. At ito rin ang tawag at hamon niya sa sino mang nais sumunod sa Kanya. To serve and not to be served. Kanya lang, dito sa ating Ibanghelyo, ayon kay San Lucas, sinabi na bukod sa tagasunod na 12 apostles, meron din silang mga kasamang babae who provided for their needs out of their own resources or pockets. In other words, they served, these women served our Lord and His Apostles. Parang in contradiction dun sa sinabi ng Panginoon, I came to serve and not to be served. Sa unang tingin lang yun. Pero sa pagkaating ito'y pinagnilayan, mararamdaman natin, maiisip natin, na itong mga babaeng sumama sa ating Panginoon, kasama ng mga apostoles, na nagsilbi sa kanila, ay nabigyan pang lalo ng oportunidad ng ating Panginoon na magkaroon ng value, purpose yung kanilang buhay. Sapagkat nung panahon ng ating Panginoon, ang mga babae at mga bata 
ay hindi masyadong nabibigyan ng importansya sa society. In fact, in many scriptural and gospel accounts, hindi sila binibigyan ng pangalan. Ni hindi man lamang sila na ilalagay sa bilang. Halimbawa, nung nag-multiply ng tinapay ang ating Panginoon sa 5,000 men, yun lamang ang sinabi. Usually, malalagay lamang ang babae at mga bata dun sa bandang huli. 5,000 men, excluding women and children. Limang daang lalaki. Hindi pa kasama ang babae at mga bata. Pero dito sa Ebanghelyo, minention ang mga babae. Hindi lang basta sinabing women. Women accompany the our Lord, kundi binigyan ng pangalan. At binigyan pa ng background kung bakit sila sumusunod sa ating Panginoon. In other words, our Lord has given these women an opportunity a chance to serve Him. In-empower niya yung mga babae. True, our Lord told His followers that He came to serve and not to be served. But how else can His follower, followers follow what He told them if they will not be given an opportunity to serve Him? Jesus has empowered these women given them opportunities to be of service not just to Him and the Apostles but eventually to the Church He is about to establish. Sa ating buhay, we always should take heed of that call or we should follow what our Lord did. He came to serve and not to be served. However, another dimension of service is also allowing others, giving others an opportunity to serve, not just us, but the church, the society, the world, especially when there is a universal need. Pag sinabing universal need, kagaya nitong pandemya, walang exempted. Lahat na apektuhan, babae, lalaki, mayaman, mahirap, may sakit, o healthy. Lahat apektado. Anumang race, anumang bansa ang pinanggalingan. All of us were affected by the pandemic and therefore all of us can feel that universal need. And it is a perfect opportunity to serve one another, regardless of our nationality, of whether we are male or female, rich and poor alike. This is the challenge that our Lord is offering us in today's Gospel. Though He asked us to serve and not to be served, Another dimension of service is also allowing others, empowering them even, to serve us. Because service is our way of expressing our love towards one another and towards God. Ultimately, no one is so poor that he or she has nothing more to give. And no one is so rich that he or she has nothing more to receive. Kindly all stand now, full of hope and confidence, we make our prayer to God our Father anxious for an increase of His presence in our life. For every petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God even in our difficulties and trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That children may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with the suffering of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of this Mass and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of peace, joy, and serenity in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept this, your servant's offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, He created the human race, so also through Him, with great goodness, You formed it anew. And so, it is right that all Your creatures serve You, all the redeemed praise You, and all Your saints with one heart bless You. Therefore, we too extol You with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoong Diyos na mga pangyayahan, napupuno ang langit at lupa ng kalwalhatian mo. Sana, sana sa kahit aasan, pinagpala ang naparirito sa galan ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana sa kahit fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oratio Imperato, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to us to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, La Naval de Manila. Pray for us. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Alonsod. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. All Dominican holy men and women of God. Pray for us. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects, and not our own desires, may always prevail in us. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Adios, reina de cielo, madre de salvador. Salvador